Hey guys, this is Admiral B Bear back with another tutorial today. First of all, before I'm starting with the tutorial, I want to thank you guys for posting comments and asking me extra questions all the time. It makes me be really happy and I can help you out as much as I can. So uh, today, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go into some really fun stuff. I've actually been preparing some stuff here for us all. So today we're actually going to learn three things. It's uh, three scripts that I mean it's pretty useful on the server. You can use it uh, in different situations, and it's actually pretty smart to have. So first of all, um, we're just going to learn today about the. Uh, we're actually going to start with the crushing. I actually got a request some, some days ago about the crushing system on cops. How you actually seize a weapon? No, I mean seize the car, and how you actually. Take it in and take it out of the database you have. So it's not going to just remove it, it's actually going to completely remove it from the system you have. So let's start. So I'll actually be preparing all the files you need here. Um, some of the files here is not going to be in the normal Altis Life folders, like the Altis Life uh, script here or the actual files here. It's actually going to be in the more life server outside the actual out this life. So let's start. So first, you want to do is actually just I'm going to post the whole folder here in the in the description so you can download it all of you. Um, so first of all, you actually go to say you're actually going to the um, coferl here. I'm going to show you all those guys. So what you do, I'm just using Fazilla now because it's. It's easy, you can see where I'm using and probably some of you guys are using it yourself. So it's going to be easier for you to uh, to follow me. So what you do, you're going into the Altislav folder, going to call folder, going to the action folder. Um, you're probably going to see I'm already having it in here. So the cease action is going to be in here. There's nothing you need to do in this one here. Let me drag it over so you guys can see it. This is the one I'm using right now. Um, there's nothing you guys need to do in here, everything is fully fixed as it should be. Uh, what you can do if you want is just changing all the seizing here into crushing. You can change it into, um, yeah, you can see it's, you can do all those and just change it into whatever you want. Just remember, do not do anything with the, with the uh, percent marks or the numbers here just leave it as it is and you should be good to go so um the second you need to do is go into function h just open it up and go down to yeah you guess it right probably you go into the uh, action folder and just place in the uh, cease action here as i've done here so just mark it up a little so you can see where i placed it myself so just to show you what you need to do you save this one um if you're using a program, you do not need to go in and out and put in new folders. It's going to be just save button. So, um, example there is Nitrado, if someone is using that. Uh, okay, second of all, you need to do is go into your, just going back here, go into your vehicles, go into the vehicle interaction menu, and if I open this one here, it's going to look like this. So, this is the most of, some of the hard parts actually from doing this so what you do here is actually um, you're gonna change this one here so you, what you do is you change this is original going to be here so what you do is you change all the ones stand there I'm gonna mark it now so you can see it what's gonna stay green all of those that's how I did it you don't need to do it like this but I would suggest you do so what you do, you just mark all of those here and change it into 7, it's going to stay 6, so just change it into 7 and change this one up here, well we're going to add this one here, you're not going to have it, but I'm adding this one in and so you guys can just plug it in. So what you do, you change this one to 6, So and you just need to go through all of those, I'm going to show you here, you just change all of those here, add them in. And all the ones here, and on the bottom here, here. So those all add those in. That means it's going to be activated, and that's pretty useful. <laughs> um, so that's when you finish this, you can just close it down. So that's the interaction menu. That's actually when you press the Windows button on a car with as a cop, you're going to get the interaction menu. Which yeah, 
you're gonna be able to impound the car, siege it, um, search it. Yeah, that's actually where you do it and what you change. So when you've done that, we're going into the other part. So what you do now, you go back, back to the completely back and find the this one here at life and this last server. Go into it, go into add-ons, life, and go into the one called functions, systems, and you're gonna find the one. It's gonna be one, I actually confused it the first time I did it, because it's pretty similar. So you gotta change, find the one, vehicle, dead, that's the one you're not gonna use. So you find the one called vehicle is dead. Open that one up, and just leave it as it is, this is gonna be perfect. I did some changes in it. The author is, you can see, is Kevin Webb, so all the rights goes to him, so. And thank you for that. And um, it, just leave it as it is. It works. I just tested it on my server. So it's gonna work perfectly for you guys too. Um, so open the SC, this one here, config C++, CPP, sorry. <laughs> um, this is actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is the function H just in the life server actually so this is where you activate everything so um, what you do here you just drag it down to the as we put it into the into the um, show you here since we put it into the functions and system you know it's gonna be in the in the one called system ton system and it's gonna be right um, there. Just add it in, and you actually finished with the siege. So that means you can you can see web all the cars in the game as a cop. You can remove them from the database. It's automatically going. This this is really the one actually going to be activated in, so it gets deleted from the database. So you don't need to do it manually. So this is really great. And second of all, um, start. Oh, we're actually on seven minutes. Some. Actually, just really quickly, the other ones now. So, what you need to do now is actually we're gonna do the other tutorial. I told you about it's the actual new life rule and counter. So, I've actually been preparing a little uh, quickly tutorial for you guys. So, I'm gonna just open up the notepad plus plus here, open up a thing, and uh, we're just gonna quickly. Um, So what we do is posting it in. This is how it's gonna look. So, uh, so what we do now is actually just posting it up. Just drag it down. Um, just gonna drag it down here. And this is gonna be looking pretty good and you just press it in and name it um, actually I'm sorry forgot to actually that you just put in I'm gonna put it in the fo same folder and you just name it FN sorry for my keyboard if, if it's typing a little in life and rule dot SQF I just save it put that in, this one into the um, Actually, you just put it into the the core and the medical folder. I'm going to show you guys. Go back. MP missions. Alta's life. Go into the core. Medical. And you see I've always placed it in here. So what you do, you go back. And what you do now is actually just... Um, I'm going to show you. You just go into the open it up here. Open up the one here again, sorry. And what you do, you go into the um, core and the medical, and you open the one called FN. Um, let's see, there we go. You open the one called here on, on player killed. Just gonna drag it out here for a second so you guys can see it. And what you do, you just drag So you just drag it down here and you'll be able to see the one I've placed in here. 
care where you see. Um, this one, you guys, I'm gonna place this so you guys can see it. And the yeah, I'm gonna post it. the whole thing. Here. You guys do not need to do anything. The only thing that actually changed in this folder here is actually just the one uh, with the new knife rule counter. So you can just leave it like it is. And so what you do now need to go do now is just go down. And you just go to the one called process. And I'm gonna show you. So you go into dialogue, core, dialogue, open up the process, HPP file, I'm gonna drag it out so you guys can see it. This one is going in there so you can skin have it yourself and open it up and you're gonna scroll down to your find the um, new life rule I'm just gonna search for it now new life rule sorry there we go and you scroll down find the class here and it's gonna be timed down to the one called here so it's gonna stop here I'm gonna post the whole thing here, you guys can just put it in and you should be good to go over there. Um, so when you were done that, uh, you go into configuration in the back, just go to into configuration. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all these sums you guys get stuck on. Uh, Corp, go into the configuration. I'm not gonna post this one here, so you guys are just gonna go into your own configuration and just put it in. And you go down, you find the one called NR. It's gonna stay down here. So you just go down. Do you want to find life variables? It's gonna always be in the folder. Find the one and just add those two. All about the matter. And that's just, just the one starting it to count and the one to stop it. So, so what you do now? You're actually finished with that. Um, you're gonna be finished with that. You go. Just what you do is go into the uh, medical, you go into um, the function, I'm going to open it up, just open this one here, go down to the medical, it's, if I remember correctly, it should be down here somewhere, mm. oh, this be, oh, I was actually wrong, um, um, let's see, just give me one second here, there we go. So the medical system using new life rule stands here. Just add it in, and actually you're finished with the um, with the one um, with the new life rule. Actually, so that's good. Um, so I'm just going to post the whole thing here, so you guys can take it. So the last thing I'm going to teach you guys, it's going to be really quickly because I the actually I'm over time on the video now. So what we do today, we just really quickly is going into the fade sound on the on the actual um, earplugs. So what you do, I'm gonna go in. You go into your folder here. You go into the one called um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, you go into core functions. Find the one really quickly. The fade sound, FN fade sound is gonna be right here. I'm gonna post this one here. Put it into folders. So you guys can use it. Nothing needs to be done in it. It's completely finished. So what you do now, go into the really quickly, I'm back, open it, take the configuration again. Sorry, <laughs> there we go, open up the configuration, go down, and you just gotta search, I really don't wanna use my time though. Um, so what you do, you go to the one called backend variables, and add in the one I just if you can find it, yeah, fade sound, add in, and you should be good to go there. So, the last thing you do, need to do is go into the functions, go down to key handler, or if I can find it, key handler, open it up, and go down to your fun. I've added it in myself um, here. So, I'm gonna post it in so you guys can use it. Uh, so that means the P, shift P is going to be the fade sound and yeah, that's actually pretty good. And so last of all, what you do is just go into the um, 
function age again since you're already using this one I'm just gonna give it to you guys so you can use it go into the one called and just go for fade and you see it's gonna stay under the functions or that's really important just to end the functions and there you see we have it that's probably all I have to the old time I had uh, this one is gonna be posted guys so you can download it thank you guys for watching I appreciate it please leave that give that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video comment if you have any questions and subscribe and thank you guys for watching this is Admiral signing out